MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's on to Game 5 of the National League Championship Series between the L.A. Dodgers and the Chicago Cubs. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you to our exclusive postseason coverage on MLB Network. With me is Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. And, Danny, this is still anyone's series here as we get ready for Game 5. Well, they're down three games to one, so it's do or die time now. That's not a good place to be, obviously, but we do see some teams play their best when their backs are up against the ropes. The key is to just take it one game at a time and not worry about how many more wins you need. All right, the stage is set. The starters get their final tosses in out in the bullpen, and we've got a good one in store for you, folks. Play-by-play -play is coming up next. Alec Mills gets the call in Game 5 of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Here's the payoff pitch. And he lays off. Ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you. Ready now, Corey Seager, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. He's having a really hard time finding his rhythm and finding the strike zone. It's going to allow this offense to keyhole him in big situations. He's got to figure it out pretty quick. Three one, and boy, that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. Some guys take a little time to find That's the zone, good. but with the second the walk in the first inning, it might be yeah. a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Now at the plate, Max Muncy. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Two two on its Taylor made to short six four three and they turn the double play. Batting four, the Federal fielder the thirty five. Cody Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now trying to cash in here in his first at bat with a runner at third and two gone. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a half-hearted attempt that time as he broke the plane of the plate. It's a ball and two strikes now. The 1-2 is looked at for ball number two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. Bets on third with two out. Fouled away. Lifted the other way out to left center. 
Schwarber is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. A couple of walks but no damage. It's on to the bottom of the first. No score on MLB Network. David Price has the ball for the fifth game of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Thanks, Matty. David Price, former AL Cy Young Award winner. Big fastball, 95 to 97. Curveball and a slider. One of the things he does well, commands the strike zone, throws a lot of strikes. Here's Chris Bryant now. He'll leave things off here in the bottom half of the first. Price is 1-2. Hit sharply on the ground. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. Batting second, the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. One out, nobody on. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. No offer at that one, and the count moves to two and two now on the Cub first baseman. So let's take a look at our umpire and crew in this one. Working the plate, Rusty Valentine. Dan, Rusty Valentine behind the dish tonight. He is north-south without question. Letters to knees. Well, I'll tell you what, he really favors a power pitcher. If you can consistently pitch at about the chest level and above, he'll call that high strike zone. I think he's a very friendly pitcher's umpire. Here's a chopper right side of the infield. Fielded cleanly. A toss on to Price at the bag as they record the out. And with two away, here's a look at our updated playoff brackets. And the question on everyone's mind is, will we be able to punch our first ticket to the World Series after tonight's ball game? Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2-1 home is taken for strike two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Ball locks him up strike three and that's the third out three up three down for the Cubs still no score second inning set to go and that will bring up A.J. Pollock Ready on one and two. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box now, Jock Peterson. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. 
And this will get all the way to the wall now. Throw into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. This is low, ball two, two and one. No score here as we play inning number two. Liner towards second. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And this will not be close, and the run will score easily. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. At the plate, Will Smith. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. into center field line drive base hit the relay throw and he is in there that base hit was screaming off the bat and our show track technology more than confirms it 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. on the ground is short could be two and that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now so digging in now Mookie Betts he drew a base on balls his first time up Still only one out in the inning. Two and one now to Mookie. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Bonnie gets him to wave at that one. It's two and two. Not the ideal location for a changeup up in the zone, but he got away with it. And he fouls this one off. On the ground to second base. This could be two. The second for one. On to Rizzo, and it's a double play. Side retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers two and the Cubs nothing. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A shot down the first baseline, but a foul ball. 1 and 2 the count now. And another foul ball. 
Here he comes again, one, two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Oh, I love watching a pitcher that can run a good hard fastball Batty, in on yeah. a guy's hands and Look completely lock him up. Real That's fair. such a tough pitch to do Good. anything with. Right, right. If you can locate your fastball there consistently, you're going to have a lot of success as a pitcher. At the plate now, Wilson Contreras. And it's fouled away. The one two he swung on and missed he got him on strikes every pitcher looks to get off to a good start and I'd say he's off to a good start How about the first five batters he's faced three of them he sent down via the strikeout standing in now Jason Hayward had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Two out, nobody on. Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. Drilled right back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Bellinger fields cleanly. Well, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. Two out with the man at first. Now a throw over. Runner back safely. Price pauses. 1-1 one, one pitch on its way. The bouncer to the left side. He's got it. Throw on to Muncy. Gets him. And with that, they'll end the inning. One left for the Cubs. They trail it here. Two to nothing. Third set to get underway and stepping up as the shortstop, Corey Seager. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Now the three and two pitch. This is on the ground over to first, and that is through into right field for a single. That's the difference in today's games. Pitchers will throw any pitch in any count, but the batter was able to deliver on a 3-2 breaking ball. Into the box, Max Muncy. And it's one and two. One ball. I'm going to need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Grounded to the right. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. How about it? Boy, that's one of the, I guess, the advantages of hitting with that hole between first and second base, d -Row. First baseman has to hold that runner on. That leaves that right side wide open. Yeah, and credit the batter right there. Nice piece of hitting right there. Not trying to do too much. He took a look at the defense and saw where it was aligned and tried to beat him. Stepping in now, Cody Bellinger to two and two now. First and second here with nobody out. Got him. Now better. So first and second with one man gone. And up next, the center fielder, A.J. Pollock. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Now back. And now time is called here as their Gone. pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here.
So now to the plate, Jock Peterson fouled off. Three two pitch. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too. And here he is again, still with the bases loaded. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. From the belt, the pitch. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. away base hit into right center and that'll bring home another as they open it up to a four nothing advantage now now that you never want to beat a pitcher that breaks a guy out of a slump but this guy was too good you knew it was a matter of time before he started barreling baseballs that gives him a multi-hit game, and I'm sure he's feeling good about it. Into the box now, Will Smith. A ball and two strikes now. The one-two. Gets him looking, strike three. Stepping in, Gavin Lux. Eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. And he fouls this one off. Ready to deliver the one and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Looking to leave him loaded. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. LA's on top, four to nothing. So in now for Chicago, Ian Happ, and they've got some work to do early on, down 4-0 already. Happ with a 2-1 count now. In there, 2-2. Two and two. two balls, two strikes. hit to first and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out now with the play Pico Horner the 1-1 home line hard to the left side but this will be a foul ball Lifted in the air to center field. Bellinger's under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fastball just missed above the zone.
tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Price into his motion. Here's the two and two. He has three balls and two strikes. Pretty easy pitch to lay off there, two and two. Not even close to being in the strike zone. He made it easy for the hitter in that one. Hits this one hard the other way. That's through for a base hit, and he's one for two now. So Anthony Rizzo will have a chance to bat this inning following the base hit. That was a well-executed pitch right there. Change up, down and away, but he just got beat with it. Nice job to flip it the other way into the outfield for an opposite field base hit. At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. And a good at-bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with the man in scoring position. Here's Javier Baez. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Change up. Good pitch there. One and two. Nope. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Number three hole hitter up right now. Cleanup guy on deck. Two ball, two strike count. I think pitcher wants to make something happen right here. Here now the two two. Smoked on the ground up the middle. And that is through into center field. A base hit. Ah, but the throw is well up the line, and he scores easily. Well, there's a good job of battling right there, D-Roll. Pitcher had the advantage with two outs, two strikes. You're one pitch away, and boy, what a terrific piece of hitting right there. Yeah, that's a great job right there. Some guys are not afraid to hit with two strikes. They'll take that pitcher deep in the count, feeling comfortable about it. That's the type of hitter this guy is, and he was able to come through. In now, Kyle Schwarber. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Turned on down the line, but foul. Here's another one, too. Hit hard down the line, but this is foul. Two down runners at first and second. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now the three and two pitch, and it's fouled away. And he struck him out, so he was forced to make nine pitches that at bat, but he'll take it as the inning is over. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. Don't touch that remote, more on MLB Network right after this. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, a Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Thank you, Heidi. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Mookie Betts. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. 
Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Ready once again. Corey Seager. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Another 2 2 offering. Fouled off. 4 to 1 our score as we play inning number 4. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Max Muncy. He singled his last time up. Four runs, seven hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. Nip the corner. Two and two. Two and two. in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball and he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play look out don't want to hit him there it's full three and two hey this guy is a hard guy to put away he's fouling off some tough pitches 2-2 two, two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two-out base runner. The better fielder, number 35, Cody Bellinger. Here comes the Chicago skipper now up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So as he leaves, I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Your Tyler Chatwood please. answers the call now from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Tyler. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Batter pitcher matchup numbers with Tyler Chatwood. He's 0 for 7. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. Into the bleachers and gone. Cody Bellinger puts a pair on the board with that homer. His third home run of this series, and it's now a 6-1 to one ball game. Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. you got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. To the plate now, A.J. Pollock. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Well, it's obvious that earlier home run he gave up is still on his mind. He had him 3-2, and two, but he didn't want to give him anything over the heart of the plate to hit. So we'll see if that walk comes back to hurt him. So striding in, Jock Peterson. Throw over to first, and he'll dive back in safely. A runner on first with two away. Breaking ball there is down. Good job of laying off. It's back to two and two.
Runner goes for second. Fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. 3 and 2. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a dive, but he's back. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Hit hard on the ground to third. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But the Dodgers do strike for two coming on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Cubs one. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Wilson Contreras. Rip down the line. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. Well, now you see how difficult it is to be a catcher. This ball is really smoke. Gets all the way to the wall, d -Row, But he just doesn't have the foot speed to turn this into an extra base hit. Yeah, his calling card is definitely not his ability to run the bases. It's for offense and massaging and pitching staff. Stepping in now, Jason Hayward. Pulled toward right center field. Giving chase is Bellinger. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. The next hub up, Cameron Mabin. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll two. Two and one to count. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, the next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to watch a pitch like that go by. But on a 3-1 count, he had the luxury of being a little bit more selective up there. Good take and a walk is the result. And that'll bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now the 2 1 pitch. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Standing in now, Nico Horner. Strike two up in the zone. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. Betts has a read on it. Two down. Now, now back to the top of the lineup. Three. Stepping in, Chris Bryant. Oh, He's yeah. working on a one-for-two game so far. Price is ready. 2-2 two -two on its way. Oh, and he goes the other way, and he drives it out to deep right center field. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion, while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started, and after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. Runner in scoring position with Sugan.
three runs already home here. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now Price is 1-2, and he fouls this one off. Try again, one, two. Slap hard the opposite way, but pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. But the Cubs do get three on the three-run home run. We're through four. It's the Dodgers six and the Cubs four. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Justin Turner. Keeping it down here, and that's a cold strike, too. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Horner's got it for the first down. Now that, the Next up for Los Angeles, Will Smith. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. The two two. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Half is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Now about it. So number coming nine. to the plate, Gavin Lux. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Six runs, eight hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Smoke toward third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Home half of the fifth coming up. Dodgers lead this one six to four. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next the dangerous power threat, Javier Baez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and the right-hander up and throwing. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Ready with another 2-2. Hit hard to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And he's at risk of the old hat trick. Two strikeouts on his line so far. Again, it seems like these hat tricks and golden sombreros are a lot more common than they were, say, 10, 15 years ago. Guys have stopped worried about striking out as much. It's really been an ideological shift in the game. That's a big topic of debate. Yeah, guy's not going to worry about three strikeouts if he can add a game-winning hit to that line. Hit in the air to left. On the move is Peterson. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Into the box, Wilson Contreras. He was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Two out, nobody on. And he'll miss the target there with a the curveball, and it's two and one now. Tough to lay off a breaking ball that good, but he saw it all the way. 
two and two to the Cubs catcher. Two and two. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat is this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he popped him up. Lux ranging into shallow right. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Cubs are down in order. They trail it here 6-4. to four. Back to the top of the Dodgers order, digging in Mookie Betts. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. 1 1. This guy uses that two seamer to set up his other pitches. Two seamer in, breaking ball away. Two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball, and then he locked him up with a changeup. The 2 2. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit leading off for the boys. This guy has had a monster postseason so far. Into the box now, Corey Seager. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. A runner at first with no outs here. High and deep to straightaway right. Back goes Hayward at the track. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. So it's a two-run homer for Corey Seager. His second home run of the series. And they double him up. It's 8-4. to I think if this pitch would have been a little higher and in on his hands, it would have been effective. But he left this one belt high. Big mistake. He's a guy that will feast on belt high pitches on the inner half, which is pretty obvious now. Rowan Wick takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. At the plate now, Max Muncy. And it's fouled away. Base is empty here with nobody out. So a full count now. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Cody Bellinger will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two-run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. The 1-1 one -one home. Swinging a soft liner in time to first, and there are two away. So two gone now for the Dodgers in the sixth, and that will bring up A.J. Pollock. The 2-1 is looked at for ball three. 
Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. Fouled away. Had to be sitting something hard right there because he gave up on that pitch, but it was right down the chute. He's set. Here's the three and two. And a check swing here, but he holds up far too late as it's strike three and the inning is over. But the Dodgers do strike for two coming on this two-run home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Dodgers eight and the Cubs four. Alex Wood enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 57, Alex Wood. Bottom of the inning now, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. The two and one on its way. And right into the shift. And good hustle to get over and tag him for the out. Sometimes for a first baseman, the best thing you do is just go ahead and tag the guy like that. Hey, there's a lot more that could go wrong when you try to throw to the pitcher or the second baseman covering. Striding forward now is the DH, Cameron Maben. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Ball, right there. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Ian Happ, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Now the three and two pitch. Inside, he misses ball four. The center fielder, number eight, Ian. At the plate, Ian Happ, one for two in the ball game thus far. Yeah, Matt, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last AB, but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. 1-1. Down the first baseline. One there. Throw to Muncy to finish the double play. That retires the side. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Game five moves to the seventh inning now. The Dodgers lead it 8-4. to four. Dan Winkler is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 43. Dan Winkler. All set for the start of the inning, and in steps a former World Series hero, the outfielder Jock Peterson. The 1 1. He is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. And he fouls this one off. The two two one more time. He pulls this one into right. Oh, and he misses it. 
Not every day that you see a ball come off the bat like that one did. And looking at it again on show track, we see it a lot faster than it came in. 113 miles an hour. Couldn't have hit that one much better than that. In now, Justin Turner heading out towards shallow right. Hayward has a read on it. One away. So striding forward now, Will Smith. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Set to deal. Here's the 3 1. Runner at first here, one man out. Into the corner and slicing foul. fouled away. Fouled off. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off, maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Hit the other way out toward right field. Hayward has a read on it. Two gone. Stepping into the box, Gavin Lux. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. Two out with the man at first. And a big swing and a miss here. Two strikes. Got him. So he's down on strikes for the second time here tonight. Dodgers leave one. They still lead it by a count of eight to four. Digging in now, Nico Horner 0 for 2 for him to this point. The 1-1 home. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. In now, Chris Bryant. He's two for three and looking for more here. Two one home. Aye. Three two. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh inning of work. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Runners on first with one down. They'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. The one-two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Just hung in there on that one. The 2-2 one more time. 
is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a top pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. To the plate now, Javier Baez. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Hit hard towards center. And that's in there. Base hit. Nice execution right there. Kept his balance on a nasty okay. breaking ball. His hand stayed back and he was able to fight it off the base hit. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at-bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. one runs a little too far in ball two two men are on with two men out squared that one up just a little late the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Cubs strand a couple. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Pedro Stroke. Been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Chicago Cubs, number 46, Pedro. Whoa. Ready to begin the eighth, and up next, one of the terrific talents in the game, Mookie Betts. Pitch home. Popped him up. Contreras waits on it. He's got it one away. Corey Seager will stand in again as we flash you back to the middle innings here. This was a big blow, a two run home run that really got his guys going. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. The one two. Again, he sends it out of play. him up Baez shading to his right makes the play and there are two gone now two away for the Dodgers here in the eighth and that'll bring up the left-handed hitter Max Muncie fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul two out nobody on Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. They still lead it by a count of eight to four. Pedro Baez is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 52, 
Pedro Baez. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next to hit is the catcher, Wilson Contreras. Three balls and a strike to the Chicago leadoff hitter. Baez was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Line drive to center field, and that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. So it's a leadoff base hit to open their half of the eighth. At the plate, Jason Hayward changes up on him if that's in the dirt for the ball. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. Fouled away. Payoff pitch one more time. And this is swung on and missed. And Hayward has gone on strikes, and there's one away. Next will be the designated hitter, Cameron Maben. It was a walk in his last trip. The set and the 1 1 pitch. Ground ball to second. This could be two. There's one. Throw to Muncie to finish the double play. That retires the side. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. More baseball on MLB Network right after this. Greg Kimbrell enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Kimbrell. Next will be the Dodgers cleanup hitter, Cody Bellinger. He was a ground out victim last time up. Easy there, big fella. Two and two. Now here's the pitch. Half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. You know, I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored. Now looking or swinging? He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the home plate umpire was ringing him up regardless. So now to the plate, A.J. Pollard. One ball. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Cubs have someone working in their bullpen now as a right-hander's begun to get loose. One out, nobody on. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Here's the 2-2. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back Ks, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. Standing in now, Jock Peterson. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a called strike two. And hey, this guy's got an 89 mile an hour changeup. There was a time when 89 was a pretty good fastball. A bouncer up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. They still lead it by a count of eight to four.
Wait, Dylan Floro, a six foot two inch right hander, jogs in to take over on the mound. Number 51, Dylan Floro. All set for the bottom of the ninth, and that'll bring up the former first rounder and Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. And this is sliced hard down the left field line. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. The throw into second. And he'll get in there safely. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it Double hugged the line and three. found its way into That's the corner. Man. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. Stepping up now, Nico Horner. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. The one two. Smoke toward the hole. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. All you can ask as an offense is to try and get that tying one in the batter's box. And that, they've started out nicely right here. They've gotten two runners on. They're down four. A grand slam is still in play. Let's see if they continue this nice offensive approach. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. The 3-1. Hey. And now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left-hander has begun to get loose. Payoff pitch on its way. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. Kenley Jansen takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Kenley Jansen. Anthony Rizzo will stand in against the new pitcher and he couldn't ask for a better scenario as he stands in with the bases loaded and nobody out. Bounce to first. To second for one. On to first and it's a double play although the run does come into score from third. Yeah, you know, that's a big wasted opportunity. Even though a run does score on the play, they're still down and trading two outs at this point, and the game is really costly. Not a good turn of events for them. And that brings up Javi Baez. He comes to the plate as the last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. Two balls and a strike to Javi Baez. They got two on the count. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fastball at the letters, and he turns on it, hits it high and deep out to center field. Into the bleachers and gone. Two run shot to straightaway center, and it's now an 8 7 ball game.
Into the box, Kyle Schwarber. Now this one is crushed, also to deep center. And that's going to be off the ivy-covered wall. And hold all tickets now as the time run gets into scoring position with a two-out double. Everyone knows there are no awards for successfully getting 26 outs. You need to get all 27 before you can start celebrating. That two-out double here tonight, putting the equalizer on at second base. A couple minutes ago, this thing looked like it might be over, but everything can change with one swing of the bat. Into the box now, Wilson Contreras. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Fans on their feet in a one-run ball game in the last of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. The Cubs are down to their final strike here. Struck him out, so he'll strand the possible tying run at second, and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Well, that's not exactly how you draw it up. He gave up a long ball to make it interesting, but it was the only run he gave up, and he hangs on to collect the save. Tight ball game all throughout. Winds up a slim one-run victory in the end as we get you one final look at our line score. There's no better time of year to come up big for your team than in the postseason, and that's exactly what this man did. He's our top player of the game. And obviously, every game is so important in the postseason. So when you come to play like he did and make a big difference for your team, it's something that won't be forgotten. One run finish, an eight to seven game tonight. Los Angeles trail three games to two in this series. David Price gets the W on the mound. Alec Mills couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers, eight runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left eight men.